welcome back to my channel so today what we're going to be doing is a valentine's chocolate dip strawberry type makeup look it's a little bit of like a bright glam yet vampy look at the same time also by beauty sent me two of their lip liner pencils before they launched so i can review them um, and you'll hear a little tidbit of what i feel about them um, later on in the video and i also used a by beauty lipstick called whiskey for this look so um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and also to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that button next to my name. And I'd also love feedback from you guys. So throw down a comment about what you thought about this video and also about what you'd like to see in the future. Enjoy and let's get this tutorial started. So first step is I use a baby wipe to get rid of any excess makeup or you know debris or anything from the night before. <sighs> Uh, while I let that dry, I start working on my eyes, and I start with Urban Decay Naked Skin in Light Warm. I just put a few dabs on my eye here, and then blend it in with my finger. You can blend it in with a beauty blender if you want. I just usually just kind of use my finger, only because I use the Tarte Shape Tape for under my eyes, and I just don't really want to mix them together on the beauty blender. Put that on and then try not to blink so that you don't crease your eye part there. You don't crease your concealer. And then I'm gonna use white peach from the Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to go over that. With my M517. Just to coat it to make sure that it sets the concealer. So the palette I'm going to be using for this is the Smashbox um, Cover Shop Palette in a Blaze. This one I bought it uh, the day it came out on Black Friday, and I'm really excited about it. So this is what the inside of it looks like. I'm going to be using basically one brush for this whole thing, just to kind of make it easy. I'm using my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this light pink with this um, darker shade. Siesta and Nirvana. I'm gonna mix those two together. Make like a transition shade here. And blend upwards. See how it's a little bit lighter up there? Going back and forth, kind of a windshield wiper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight with that burgundy shade and then go closer to the crease with it. So that part becomes a little bit more darker and a little bit more concentrated with that color. Again, going back in that windshield wiper kind of motion, just keeping it really, really close to the crease. And then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to take this dark brown shade over here in Dark Horse with the same brush. And then I'm just going to focus on the outer corner of my eye, keeping it to like where the eyeball is. Trying not to go too far out. And you want it to go like just into the crease, just like a little bit, but not too far. You just want that little bit of definition on the outside of your eye. Then last but not least, I'm going to be using my finger to apply the Dome Beauty um, Eye Jewels in Pink Opal. This is a really good indie brand I found at the Indie Beauty Expo last August. Um, and this has like a really nice creamy texture to it. And once it dries, you'll feel like a weird sensation on your eye, but once it dries, it's there all day. So I'm just going to take a little, like a baby amount on my finger and then just start tapping it on my lid, not interfering with that dark brown part we just put on. Um, a quick tip for when applying anything moussey on your lids, you want to make sure that you keep your eyes down and you don't blink until you feel it like dry. The reason for that is if you open up your eyes before it's dry, it'll actually it'll just automatically crease and then it'll dry in the crease. So you want to make sure you feel it drying. Uh, um, then while I am doing the other eye, I'm going to let my moisturizer set into my skin. So I'm using the 
First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream. Um, I really like this because it's non-comedogenic, which is really great for my acne prone skin. And you want to start, you want to rub it in first, but then pat it in once you get a good amount spread out because that's going to help it really sink into your skin. Instead of it just kind of being spread around and not really soaked into your skin. So I just put a little bit everywhere because generally in the winter my skin is pretty dry everywhere. So I'm just going to put that on. All right, and while that sinks in, I'm gonna do my eye off camera, and then we'll come back for brows and the rest of my face. So now that I did my other eye and my face lotion has set into my face, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my primers to my face. So while that's setting into my skin, I'll be doing my brows. So in the areas that I wanna highlight on my face, I'm actually gonna use the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer, and then everywhere else, which is actually where I get most of my acne, I get more so like hormonal acne down here. Um, and basically like the whole rim around my face. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier blemishless uh, primer for that. So I'm gonna start with this one so I don't get the other primer in on my hands. And a little bit goes a long way with these primers too, which is really nice. All right, so while that sets in, I'm gonna do my brows. So I always start with Gimme Brow because I have a lot of brow hair up here, but not a lot at the end. So I do the Gimme Brow for the parts that I have a lot more hair to start with. And basically the little fibers here, they actually attach to the hair that you already have, which is nice. Um, so it doesn't add anything too much to the skin unless you really press it in. Um, so it's basically great just to add extra volume if you already have um, hair there. So that's what I'm going to do. A lot of times they'll show you in the tutorials to brush your hair back. I don't really do it that much just because I have so much hair in the beginning to start with. So basically all I do is I just brush it through and the gel also is almost like gel for your hair to where it's not going to leave like a crusty feeling but it also keeps your hairs in place but it's like a comfortable feeling. It's not like crusty like a mascara or something for your brows. So sometimes I just kind of like lift them up a little bit, push them over and then go all the way through to where the rest of my hair ends. All right, next what I'm gonna use is Cabral. Um, I do have the larger size, but I love using the sample that I got a long time ago because it's just, I don't wanna waste it, so I'm gonna start off with that one. Um, what I like to do to make sure that the formula isn't too dry, I usually always wet this with a, a baby wipe, so I always just kinda wipe it down like this. Kinda get that crusty excess off, like that. Um, and then I just kinda go back and forth wiggle it through, make it a little wet so that the pomade itself will be a little bit looser. Um, Cause sometimes I feel like it does get a little stiff, especially in the newer containers. Um, and then what I do here is I'll take a little bit out because of this kind of weird container. And then what I'll do is I will smooth it back and forth like a little paintbrush. And then I'm gonna have to find out where I can lean and do these without being out of focus. We usually start with is the top part, so I like to make my top line. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the underbrow stencil. Make sure I like the brow as a whole. I think I might go a little bit further on top. And then basically after that, if I like it, I then just start filling it in. And I only fill in from like this area over because I like that ombre look to my brows. And again, I have so much hair to begin with in the front. Gimme Brow fills them in just enough the way I like it. And then, yeah, so it's basically just kindergarten filling in the spaces here. And that is it. So now that both my brows are on, my primer is now set into my skin. I'm going to start with my concealer. And I'm gonna use my my damp beauty blender. Tarte Shape Tape is like the best, the best concealer on the market. Um, it's like the most crease resistant I've ever seen, and it's just phenomenal. So what we have here is the humongous doe foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these nice thick triangles here. You hear that sound? That means I'm almost out. And I need to get some more. 
basically I always like to add a little bit more near this part just because I feel like it just never delivers enough just in case all right so I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender and just blend that in And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my RCMA powder, dip my beauty blender in here, and then just make sure to set my under eye. Later. All right, and then for foundation, you can put concealer here. You can put it here if you want to here. Um, normally I don't really do that only because like my nose type nose highlighting it sometimes isn't the best unless I contour because mine's kind of wide um, and then my forehead I always use a highlighter later anyway all right so next for foundation I'm going to use the makeup forever ultra HD foundation I'm in the shade r330 I use three pumps of this and then I add the cover effects custom enhancer drops in moonlight which I got a sample of from Sephora when I went shopping so thank you shake it up a little bit and it's in a cute little dropper thing too. So take a little bit of this and add like a little bit, just like a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like that much. It actually looks almost like a scale. Probably not now, it probably ran down my hand, but just a little bit. Mix it up on the back of your hand. And this is gonna give it just that nice glowing complexion. Um, not metallic finish, nothing crazy, but it's just gonna give, as you can see, it looks like glass kind of, or like water like shimmering water I guess um, and then just put whatever's left on your face from your hands blend it through and then put it on the rest of your face and that's it mm -hmm. all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that same RCMA powder with my Morphe E3 brush, a nice little tapered powder brush, and then just lightly set the rest of my foundation here and my concealer. So I just kind of dab a little bit, kind of brush it through a little, not too hard because I don't want to like actually take off the foundation. I feel like sometimes that happens when you're putting powder on if you get a little too rough with it. Just and this is also just a very light coating, nothing to keep make anything super matte or anything. It's just like a nice translucent coverage to set it because I'm going to work later. I want to make sure everything is nice and tidy. I'm going to add a little extra though to like my smile lines here. Let that sit for a few minutes. I don't bake it by any means really. Just like a little extra powder coverage there. I don't get usually get too oily but the only time I get really get like anything extra it's like those smile lines to get kind of annoying all right so then after that I'm gonna use my favorite my all-time favorite brush for contouring the number 74 pro contour brush from Sephora I bought this two years ago and this is the only contour brush I've ever used since then I've tried other ones don't like them also I don't use cream concealer so I don't use that really thick uh, bristled one and I'm gonna use the infamous shade and light palette I've officially hit pan also so congratulations to me thank you thank you um, and again, I'm just going to use the brush, dip into that middle shade, that middle terracotta shade, and then go from this part where your ear meets your face on the top part, and then just go straight back and forth. Easy enough contour. I'm not doing anything too heavy. Again, I want this to be more of like a light, um, kind of Valentine's Day look. You know, that chocolate dip strawberry feeling, you know? So you see there's automatically a difference between this side and this side. A little bit more over here. Sometimes I like to kind of blot it in a little bit and then kind of work it through. Only because I feel like, again, sometimes you end up taking your foundation off if you're a little too rough with your brushes. Um, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I feel like Manny Miwe really goes in hard with his brushes, and I'm always amazed as to how his foundation like stays on. Always amazed by that. Like that was like a nice cut contour, but I kind of just want to make sure. I'm warming up the face more than anything. And then because I have like a huge forehead, I'm gonna blend this through here. 
little helmet. Um, bounce it down here, over here. And then because I have a really round face, I like to make sure that I define with bronzer my jawline. Okay, that's done. And then what I'm gonna do next is use my Morphe M551 brush and go with my favorite blush of all time. I'm actually gonna mix two of them together. Them, I'm gonna mix Papa Don't Peach by Too Faced and also one from the Becca collection. So I'm gonna, just gonna add a little bit of this to my cheeks. And again, I don't wanna go too pink, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna keep it kind of simple with the face and really focus on the eyes here. And again, blush, you wanna keep it to the two fingers rule so your blush shouldn't go past that. Next, we're gonna go with a light coating, light coating of Rose Spritz. Just like a, literally just a love tap. And then pull it through. Next, we're gonna do is I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush, which is the Morphe M510. And then I'm gonna throw some Champagne Pop from the collection. Highlight on these areas here. And this is where I do a little bit on the bridge of my nose, a little bit up here on the forehead, and then use my finger to do kind of like a little dot. All right, so you can use a nude liner and nude lipstick like I did for this picture when I did this look first for Instagram, or what you can do is use a like really deep brown for this look. Um, I have the Bite Beauty lip liner in number 44. These have not come out yet. Um, I got them for free to try out from Influencer and Bite Beauty, so thank you for sending those to me. Um, this is in the nice dark brown shade. I've tried this before. Actually, obviously, like I said, for the Instagram picture, I use number 20. I use number 20. Um, they're really creamy. They're really nice. The packaging, again, is very simple, very, you know, down to earth, you know, because everything is food grade for them. And I have to say the staying power for this lip liner is amazing and the creamy texture is really easy to apply. So I'm gonna apply number 44 for my lip liner. I'm gonna apply it to my whole lip and then add whiskey lipstick on top. So after that, I decided to do a little extra and put dark horse on the outer corner underneath my eye and then I added Nirvana to the middle part using that same brush. Alright, and here is the final look. Threw on some Huda Beauty Lashes, number 13 in Jade, and um, did a little extra on the eye which you saw in the picture part of the tutorial. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Finally back in video time. I've been so busy with so many extra things with school and everything. So I'm excited to have made this video for you guys. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button next to my name if you want to see more videos like this. I really appreciate your support and I'd love to see more of your guys' feedback and what you guys would like to see. Um, and that's it.